He had so many people that he wanted to involve in his plans. And it was getting there, you know. You know, we bought the lot, man, but I don't know how we did it, you know. And that was a big thing for bro, man, because uh, he used to sell CDs out the trunk, you know. He used to be in that parking lot, and uh, they used to try to kick him out of the lot. And y'all you, and know what we went through with the police in that lot. And um, they, I don't know if anybody knows, we had got a 30-day um, notice. And uh, they was kicking us out of all the businesses that we own in the lot. And the, the owner um, was like, man, I'm so sorry. The, the, the district attorney and uh, the, the, the police, they put pressure on us. They said, we can lose this property if we don't kick you guys out the lot. I remember this used to be a vacant lot, and people used to be... Um, scared to rent the lot. You guys came here, you um, you changed it. People are pulling up, every every lot is rented. And um, at this point, if you guys still are interested in buying a lot, you know, rather than kick you guys out, we're willing to sell it to you. So at this point, man, you know, we was all broke. Nip had money invested everywhere. And uh, we, we, we shook hands and said we do want to buy the lot. We didn't know how we was going to do it, honestly. And um, Nip went on a scramble. I went on a scramble, tapped in with JP, the whole team. And um, I, I honestly don't know how we did it. But um, we, we was able to close and get the lot. And Nip was so proud of that and so, so happy of that accomplishment.